Welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss about CPU memory area. Here, I have used virtual CPU, that is PLC simulation, to view the PLC CPU memory area. I will go online here by clicking that go online after downloading the all program or CPU configuration to virtual CPU. I am going online. Now click the online and diagnostic button here, this one. It will open the diagnostic screen. By clicking that memory button here you can see there are four load memory. There are four memory area. First one is called load memory. Load memory here showing is zero. And other memory area is code work memory, data work memory and written memory. And that all the data here showing as a byte. Here you can see size in byte. Okay. And that size in byte is not like a file size. We are using a folder, file, movies like this. This is not like that size. It's the data work tag by tag size, data size, code, code we are uh, making in FC, FB. That all the memory size, that all the size. Okay. Here it's showing it's zero. Why it's showing it's zero? Because load memory use the non volatile memory area. Non volatile memory area. You may know that the volatile and non volatile memory. What is volatile memory? Volatile memory is the memory that is stored temporary data or program. If you stop the CPU, your temporary data or program will lose or erase from the volatile memory. But non-volatile memory will not erase the data which is stored in non-volatile memory. Non-volatile memory like a CD, uh, USB disk, hard disk like this. But volatile memory like the RAM. But ROM is a non-volatile memory. Okay. Now, we also know that Siemens use the memory card, symmetric memory card in every, almost every CPU. So, here in virtual CPU, PLC simulation has no memory card. That's why in load memory is showing is zero. But if you go, here I will show you that this is a real CPU that here you can see that here it's showing some value and in that CPU has 4 megabyte symmetric memory card and that memory card load memory used like this value okay and now that must byte now free yeah, on that load memory okay now if you go that skin here you can see that load memory load memory is on the symmetric memory card here so when cpu from the cpu first start from stop that time load the data in load memory area which type of data? Word block, FC, FB, OB, data, DB, and hardware configuration. That, that data is stored in symmetric memory card as a load memory. Also, uh, recipe, data logs, HMI backup, all the data can store in the load uh, symmetric memory card. Okay, now we see here again that code work memory, that code work memory has the data, 
स्टोर लाइक एफ सी डाटा फांगशन ब्लक डाटा एफ वि डाटा ओ वि डाटा बाट डाटा वार्क मेमोरि स्टोर द डाटा ब्लक डाटा ब्लक हुई टाइप अफ डाटा इट कैन वि ग्लोबल डाटा डाटा ब्लक टैक डाटा और इन्स्टेंट डाटा ब्लक हियर फ्रम दैट from that is can you can see that work memory data 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 work memory stored the global data block instant data block or technology object and work memory code is stored the fc fb ob okay here this technology object if you use pid and that use the data work memory okay there is other memory area is called retentive memory retentive means the data is stored in a memory area which is stored in a non volatile memory and that is rom in the cpu not in the memory card and that is in the memory cpu memory cpu memory rom memory not ram and that volat non volatile memory stored the retentive data which keep the data store if the cpu stop and start or power off that will not erase but it will erase if you click the erase or use the function that reset factory setting that will erase the retentive data okay now there is other type of memory is called the flag memory flag memory and the peripheral input output that is uh, io module input output area now we'll see how that memory will change here i will use a here a data block db db12 this data block is now empty okay now we'll define a tag that is retain tip and i will give it tag data type is what now i will compile okay here again see that here the retentive memory area in use is 184 and the data work memory is 3712 and 5388 is work memory now if you download okay it is download now see it is not change 37121814 nothing change now if you use that tag as a return tip now download okay download and see again now it is 186 186 and it was earlier 3712 now it is 14 and here it was 84 now it is 86 so retentive data in data block not only the retentive memory but also data block memory because it is used the data block we are using data block memory data block db12 so it also use the data work memory but code work memory is not changed because code work code work only use the fc fb ob data now if you here program control here that fc8 is now empty if i use 
uh, like move block okay here i will use that m99 999 and i will transfer that 99 data to redemptive tag compile and download okay now see that data work memory is now unchanged retentive memory is now unchanged but here 5421 code work is now changed earlier it was 5380 now it is 53 5421 because the memory code work memory is changed we have program in a pro, uh, that fc8 that instruction move instruction use so the code work memory is changed in the code work memory area that one